Welcome to Cavaletto Studios. Thank you for joining today's heart opening yoga class. You will need two blocks or a large rolled up towel or yoga blanket. We will be starting in child's pose. If you enjoy this class, be sure to like and subscribe below. All right, good morning everyone. Let's get started um, in child's pose. So we're gonna come all the way down to our mat, two blocks ready to go or a blanket rolled up. Separate your knees, feet together and slide yourself all the way down. In child's pose, we're gonna reach our arms. We're gonna to start to shift our body gently side to side just to get comfortable. Use your palms to slide your hips back to your heels and then slowly let your head drift towards the floor. And then here we're going to focus on our breath. Inhaling through the nose, exhaling through the nose. Tune into the body and what's going on in the joints of the body. If it bothers you to have your arms stretched out, you can always bend your elbows and pull the elbows back a little to relieve pressure off your shoulders. Today in our practice, we again, we will be focusing on opening the heart space or the chest, expanding through our upper body, improving our flexibility and hopefully our posture at the same time. One more deep breath in through the nose and then exhale through the mouth. And then you're gonna reach your arms way out front. I want you to shift up and bring your knees underneath your hips and then slide yourself forward. So you're over your wrists, opening up, lengthening through the body to a modified plank, tops of your feet on the floor. Lift up your head, take a nice step, deep breath in and then exhale, tuck your toes, slide your hips all the way back. And then inhale, untuck your toes, open a little more. And then exhale back two more times. Inhale, lift and open. And then exhale back one more time. Open up that heart, lengthen through the neck on that inhale. Exhale, tuck the toes, stretch through the ankles. Good. Now you're going to move a little closer to those blocks. Bring your knees apart, feet together, draw your elbows or triceps to the blocks or to the blanket. Draw your hips back, head comes down. Good, and make those adjustments to where you can get into a child's pose but have your elbows on those blocks, palms together, thumbs back. And again, if it's too high, I'm going to show options. Whatever you have, maybe a couple of books, you can be lower or higher. I'm even going to demonstrate the blanket if you are, are a towel. You can always be here as well. Just getting that extra stretch through the triceps and the shoulders. Think about relaxing, feeling the heart opening to the floor, all the way through those armpits. We have two more breaths here. One more. And then you're slowly gonna come up, release. Go ahead and take those blocks and set them out of the way. Just move them out of the way. Bring your hands to the floor and come to a tabletop and cat cow. So you're going to round your back, push your belly towards the ceiling, exhale, and then inhale, lift and open and arch and exhale round. <sighs> inhale, lift and open. Exhale round <sighs> and inhale, lift and open. And exhale round <sighs> last round, last time. 
inhale and exhale. Excellent. Walk those hands forward, slide back to that modified plank, open up that chest, and then elbows look into the ribs as you lower all the way to the belly, and then bring your hands forward, sphinx pose. Elbows under the shoulders, spread out those fingers, and then I want you to open the chest, press the palms and the forearms into the mat, tops of the feet, pretend like your legs are pushing away from the body, and yet your arms are pulling yourself forward as you expand through the belly and stretch that low back, lengthen through the neck, let the head move gently side to side, Take a deep breath in, fill that belly, and then exhale, pull the belly in. Excellent. Then you're going to slowly walk your hands out to the side, slide your hands back towards your chest, tuck your toes, slide yourself all the way up and back to your first down dog of the day. You're gonna pedal at your feet, walk your dog. You can do this. <sighs> Feels so good. Walk that dog, stretch things out. Good, now we're gonna plant our left foot towards the floor, lift the right leg to a three-legged dog. Bend your right knee and then big circles around with that right knee, that whole hip, loosen things up. And now directions are changing on that leg, circle the opposite way. And then press that foot over to your left, open up that chest as you, and the hip, as you draw the right arm and shoulder downward, level out the shoulders, and then pull that leg over to the left. And then take that right foot all the way between your hands and lower your left foot to the floor. Untuck that toe, and then walk yourself up. Throw a blanket or something under the knees if you need it. Let's open to cactus arms. Three breaths here, inhaling through the nose. Open the fingers wide, exhale through the nose. Check in with the hips, the knee is over the ankle. One more breath. Now you're gonna take your left hand down to the floor inside that right foot. Reach your right hand behind you all the way. Look back at your right hand. Take a big smile and a big breath. Open in that heart, slide that shoulder, open and back. Now take that right hand back to the floor. Step back to plank all the way, find your core. Slide the shoulders away from your ears and very slowly, chaturanga, elbows in, belly to the floor, untuck your toes, find your upward facing dog. Open that heart, tucking your toes, sliding back to your downward facing dog and pedal out those feet. Spread out those fingertips, press into those palms and the fingers and then plant your right foot down Left leg comes up, three-legged dog. Bend your knee, circle it around. Open up the hip, oh, we got a hip pop there. And then change direction, circle the other way. And then draw that foot over to the right. Level out your shoulders, pressing your left shoulder down as your, right, as your leg pulls to the right. Now bring that foot between your hands and lower your right knee to the floor and walk it on up. Untuck your back toe. Find those cactus arms. Open that heart space. Lengthen through the neck. Deep breath in, check in. The knee is over the ankle. Take your right hand, bring it to the floor, next to the left foot. Turn and twist, reaching your left hand back. Look back, lengthen. Now open up that left shoulder a little more. And then bring both hands to the floor. Good, step back to your plank, tuck your back toe. Find that core strength again. Open the chest slightly as you slide those shoulder blades down the back and then slowly lower to your chaturanga. Untuck your knees and your toes and then press up to an upward facing dog. And then downward facing dog. Open things up. Good, plant your left leg into the floor, lift your right leg. Soften that left knee, bend the knee and open up that hip. Stack them again, Pull your, push your right shoulder downward. Now that right foot is going to go between the hands. Excellent. And you're going to lower that knee to the floor, untuck the toe, walk it up. 
and lift and open up that chest. Find that cact those cactus arms again. And breathe. Excellent. Now bring that hand to the floor. Untuck your back toe. Reach back. And I want you to straighten out that back leg this time. Now take that back arm that's reaching back, that right arm, reach it for the sky. Pull your right knee into the chest. Take that top arm, reach it behind your back. Open up the chest a little more. Focus on that breath, lengthen through the neck, push through your back heel, straighten that back leg. One more breath. Both hands to the floor. Step back to plank. Big breath in, chaturanga. Lowering down, find your upward facing dog. It's a little easier every time, doesn't it? Downward facing dog. Find your breath. Plant your right foot down, soften the knee, left leg comes up. Bend the knee, stack those hips, pull that left foot to the right, push your right left shoulder down. Go ahead, take that left foot between the hands, lower the knee, untuck the foot, walk it up. Find your cactus arms, open up. See if you can slide your hips a little more forward. Really lengthen and open. Elbows are down about shoulder level or lower. So you can really just relax those shoulders and lengthen through the neck, another breath. Now take that right hand to the floor, tuck your back toe, reach the left arm back, straighten out that back leg, lengthen through the neck, bring that left arm up, push your left foot flat into the floor, even that arch, pull that left knee in towards the belly, take that top arm, reach it behind the back. Now slide that shoulder back and breathe. Press through that back heel. And then we're releasing to the floor. Go ahead and step back to your plank. And feel free to take a child's pose at any time or vinyasa flow. Lowering, lifting to your upward facing dog and down dog or take a child's pose. Your practice, your choice, soften the knees. Three breaths here. And just breathe. One more breath. Now you're going to slowly take that right leg up again. Bend the knee, stack those hips, open it up. Right shoulders down, take that foot between the hands. You're in a high lunge, I want you to pivot your back foot all the way solid and windmill all the way up to warrior two. Relax those shoulders. I got my back to you now. <laughs> reach, reach. Reach forward, flip that hand, let's reverse it. Flip it all the way back. Stretching through the front. Good. Coming back to warrior two. Check in that you can see your big toe. Your knee is over your ankle, your shoulders are relaxed. Excellent. Take both hands, reach them behind your back. Interlace the fingers, press the palms together. Now look straight forward so your neck stays in alignment. I want you to slide your hands towards your front knee but lean towards the back, upper body towards the back leg. And open up that chest, excellent. Now you're going to release the fingertips. Open up to those cactus arms again, nice and wide. Pivot off of your back foot, find your crescent lunge and breathe. You can do this. Nice deep breaths, finding your balance, and then bring your hands to the floor and bring your back foot to the floor. Forward fold. And just hang out here for a moment. One more breath. Take a half lift. Inhale, lengthen through the spine. Exhale, fold. Soften the knees, inhale, rise all the way up. Tap those fingertips, exhale, forward fold, all the way back down, bend those knees, step back to plank. Nice and strong, find your core, pull the shoulders away from the ears, deep breath in. I want you to exhale slowly down to the floor, finding your upward facing dog, child's pose or downward facing dog here. It's up to you where you go, three breaths. 
Spread out those fingers, soften those knees, draw the belly to the thighs. Let your head hang heavy. One more breath. You're going to plant that right foot and bring that left leg up. We're going to bend the knee and stack those hips. And then bring that foot between the hands, pivot onto the back, right foot, windmill it up to warrior two. Relax those shoulders, lengthen, check in with that front knee that you can see the big toe and the knee is over the ankle. And just keep on breathing. Excellent, we're gonna reach it forward, flip that left palm up, reverse it, take it back, hold on to the thigh. Remember, we're building here. We're building and building to open and then take it back to warrior two. Bring both hands behind the back, interlace those fingers, open up that chest, relax those shoulders. Excellent, have your head forward so we don't torque anything. Now I want you to start to bring your hands towards the front leg and lean back. So you're really feeling that inner thigh stretch open up through the chest. Now we're lifting gently just through the neck and feel that stretch, the chest muscles, everything attaches here. Neck, chest, we gotta loosen things up. Excellent, we're gonna release, bring the arms to cactus arms. <sighs> Relax those shoulders. Now you're gonna twist and pivot towards the front, pull off of that back heel, and then just open up. So you're finding a crescent lunge, but with cactus arms. Again, opening up that chest, deep breath in, Take both arms forward and take a forward fold. And just breathe here. Inhale and exhale. Half lift, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Excellent, step back to plank. Chaturanga, upward facing dog. And now we're all gonna take a child's pose together. Lengthen, lengthen, slide the Knees apart, feet together. Push those palms into the floor and just feel how much easier it is to get into that child's pose now from the very beginning when we started. Let your forehead rest. Continue to prepare your body. Reach those fingers forward. Now we're gonna come back to our downward facing dog. Lift those hips, find that space, relax those shoulders. Good. So plant that left foot, let's lift the right, all the way up, three-legged dog, lengthen, lengthen. Keep those shoulders level as you bend the right knee and stack those hips, open it up. Now, if you would like to flip your dog to wild thing and then really open up that chest, reach that right arm up behind you or just hold the twist, it's up to you. Another breath lengthening, opening things up. And then we're gonna flip our dog back all the way back up, right leg forward, good. Bend the knee, bring that foot between the hands and then windmill yourself all the way up to your warrior two again. Relax those shoulders and breathe. Good, lengthen through the neck, the spine, looking over those front right fingertips, check your big toe, maybe sink a little deeper into it. Bring those hands to cactus arms. Excellent, we're gonna pivot forward with the arms, pivot off the back heel, this time full crescent. Thumbs to the back, reaching the fingertips to the sky. Open up that chest. Feel that nice stretch through that front thigh and hip flexor. Beautiful. Excellent, we're gonna take both hands all the way to the floor. Step forward to a forward fold. And just breathe here. Reach for the floor. Draw your head to your knees, lengthen through the back of the legs. Now we're gonna take a half lift, hand, hands on the shins, lengthen through the spine and inhale, lift the toes, exhale, fold. 
Soften the knees, inhale, rise all the way up. Exhale, palms to heart space. Excellent. You're going to stay on your right foot. I'm just turning so you can see. Opening up to your mountain. Relax those shoulders. Now we're going to go to a balance challenge. I want you to ground into the right foot. We're going to find our dancer within us. You're going to reach the hand back. Now on this first round, we're going to hold the outside edge of the foot. And then we're going to pull the knees together and pull that heel to the glutes. Maybe bend your elbow. If you have a strap or you need a wall, great time to use it. Find that stability in that right foot. Lengthen, bring that right arm all the way up. Lengthen, lengthen. Now, if you'd like to go to King Dancer, again, you can do that as well. I'm going to turn so you can see. You're going to start to hinge at the hips, reaching the fingertips forward. And then when you get there, start to kick your left foot into your hand and lengthen. Really open up through the chest. Don't forget your breath. Find a focal point on the floor. Three breaths in this posture. And then slowly start to come out all the way up and release. Give it a shake. A little bit uh, intense there. We're going to find our mountain. Inhale, lift. Good job, everyone. Exhale, forward fold. (sighs) Inhale, half lift. Lengthen. Exhale, fold. Bend those knees. Step back to your plank. Deep breath in and chaturanga. Go ahead. Find your upward facing dog. Open it up. Good. Downward facing dog. (sighs) And just melt here. Let everything relax. You're going to step into that left foot. Bring that right leg up. We're going to bend the knee. Stack those hips. Stack, stack. Keep that right shoulder down. Now, if you'd like, you can flip your dog. Flip it over. Extend. Just do the same leg twice. I think I did. (laughs) And flip that dog back. Extend that right leg up. And then bring that right leg down. And bring the left leg all the way up. (sighs) Ah, That's all right. You know, none of us are perfect. So we'll just do... Two, flip your dogs on the other side when we get there. Bend that left knee. Open it up. And then, if you want, you can flip your dog on this side. Lengthen. Reach that left arm all the way over. And breathe. Three breaths here. And when you're done, we're flipping it back. Bring that left leg back up. And then bend the knee. Bring it between your hands. Pivot onto your back foot. Open to warrior two. Relax those shoulders. I'm sweating. (laughs) Lengthen through the shoulders. They're, They're extended. Your neck is long. You're looking over your left fingertips. Bend into that front knee. And just breathe here. Excellent. Get a little deeper, and then open the hands. Cactus arms, lift and open. Now you're gonna pivot forward, come off of your back foot. Lift the hands to the sky, and open to your crescent lunge. Press into that back heel towards the back wall. Lengthen that back leg, excellent. Then bring both hands forward. Step forward to forward fold. And just hang out here for a moment. (sighs) Let's take a nice deep inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise all the way up. Exhale, palms at heart space. And then give it a shake. We're going to shift sides. So now we're going to do our dancer on the other side. So I want you to ground into the left foot. Right, and we're going to bring 
the hand to the outside edge of that right foot now. Lift your left arm up, use a strap if needed to hold the foot, use a wall to lean against. I'm gonna turn sideways, we'll see if this side is more wobbly. Lengthen, lengthen, good, start to hinge at the hips. As you lean forward, find a focal point on the floor and then start to kick your foot into your hand. And open up that chest and the hip. Keep your eyes on that focal point, focus on your breath, the stability of your leg. I'm losing my stability. Three breaths here. And then when you're done with your three, you're gonna rise back up and then release and give it a shake. Shake, shake. Let's take a forward fold. So line those toes up, inhale, lift, exhale, fold. Bend those knees, step back to your plank. Nice and strong, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog, exhale, downward facing dog. Excellent, now we're gonna ground into that right foot. We're lifting the left leg again. Yes, we are, and we're gonna bend the knee and we're gonna stack those hips and we're gonna flip our dog again. It's easier the second time. What do you think? Open it up. And then flipping your dog back and then bring both feet back down. But we are still gonna do that dancer twice. I know you're excited about that. Take that right foot up, bend the knee, bring it between the hands, pivot onto your back foot, come back to warrior two. We're gonna add it all together. We'll slide it forward, reach that right palm up, flip your warrior, reach it all the way back, slide that hip forward. Excellent, back to warrior two. Shoulders relaxed, hands behind the back, interlace. Slide them towards the front leg, tilt to the back. And then slowly come back to center, open up, crescent arms, twist to the front, pivot off that back heel, slide all the way to crescent. All right, we're gonna bring the palms together. Now I want you to step, a big step forward and balance on that right foot, all the way up. All the way up, good. Now your left, Hand is gonna go on the inside of your left foot, on the arch. Right hand comes up. I'm gonna come back here so I don't hit the wall. You can use a wall if you want. So we're going back to our dancer. Again, you can stay here or start to hinge at the hip. So now your hand is on the inside of the arch. So it's gonna feel a little different, more of a stretch in the chest, kicking it, your foot into your hand. You might not go as far that's okay. Just trying new things. Find your king dancer, ground into that right foot, and then come up nice and slow and release the leg. Give those arms a shake. Find your mountain, inhale lift, exhale fold, inhale half lift, exhale fold, bend the knees, step or hop back to plank. Good, now we're also going to pivot onto that left foot and find a side plank. <sighs> Option is to stay here. A variation is to be on the knee, on the floor, or more advanced, more challenge is bringing that right foot into the thigh for a tree and lengthen and open up that chest, bring the arm back, one more breath. Excellent, and then we're gonna pivot onto that foot. Release, both feet onto the floor, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Excellent, exhale, down dog. We get to do the other side. If you need a break, take a child's pose. If you need a drink, grab a drink. We're gonna take that right foot melted into the floor, lift the left leg up. Bend the knee, bring it between the hands. Pivot into the back right foot, windmill it up to warrior two, relax those shoulders. Look over into those front fingers. Anybody sweating out there? 
Relax those shoulders, slide that knee open. Take a peek at your big toe, make sure you can see it. Flip that left palm up, reach forward, flip it. Open up, lengthen. Excellent, come back to warrior two. Bring both hands behind the back, interlace the fingers. Start to slide your hands to the front knee as you tilt towards the back, lengthening through the neck. And then release, come back to center, cactus arms. Pivot your arms to the front, come off your back heel, find that balance, lift the arms, fingers to the sky, thumbs to the back, push through that back heel to the back wall, lengthen the back leg, crescent, good. Palms to heart space, bend that back knee, big step forward, find that balance on that left leg. Oh, excellent. Bring that foot back, release, grab the inside of your arch. I need to back up or I'll hit the wall. And then reach your left arm up. Let's find dancer on the other side. Start to hinge at the hip and then kick your foot into your hand. Lengthening, check out the floor, a focal point, and notice the difference on one side and the other. Find your breath, really reach. One more breath and slowly coming out. Lifting and releasing. Excellent, shake it out. Find our mountain, inhale, lift. Exhale, forward fold. Half lift, lengthen. Exhale, fold, bend the knees, step back into plank. Good, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. And then take a child's pose. Separate your knees, feet together, slide it back. Forehead to the floor. Grab a drink if you need it. You can do this. Oh, I forgot the duh. I forgot our side plank. I'm so into this flow, I totally forgot the side plank. That's all right. It's one of those days. So we're gonna go back and hit that side plank. <laughs> so we're gonna shift back. You're gonna shift onto your right, onto a plank and then to the right th side, lift it to a side plank. And then again, knee on the floor or you can bring it to a tree. <sighs> lift up. Open it up. And then release back to plank and we can go back to our child's pose. And that will just go on the bloopers reel. No, I'll just keep it right here because you know that I'm not perfect. And I make mistakes too. Oh, and just rest here. Let's take that breath. Excellent. Now you're going to slowly come all the way up. Slide the knees together under the hips. Tuck your toes and then walk yourself all the way up to hero. Those toes are tucked. If you need a block at all, this is a great place to put a block between your feet if you need one at all. But first we're gonna start with a few variations and then you go to where you want. We're gonna to go to camel. So I want you to tuck your fingers and your palms into your low back, open up your heart space, start to push your hips gently forward. So it's not about how far you can arch your back, it's about stretching the front of the thighs of the hips. Now maybe that's plenty, Maybe you want to reach for your block. Maybe some of you can reach for your heels and open all the way and lengthen. If you have low back issues, then don't go all the way here. I want you to stay with your hands on your low back and up tall. One more breath. Excellent. And then we're slowly going to release. Move that block out of the way and come back to child's pose. All the way down. So come all the way down to your belly. Excellent, bring your palms underneath your forehead. Feel the length of your spine and then rock yourself side to side. Now press your left palm into the floor. I want you to bend your right knee and reach back and hold on to your outside edge of your foot and pull your foot towards your glute your butt. Excellent. I want you to press up away from your hand on the floor and then start to kick your foot into your hand. 
and breathe. Half bow, opening up that chest, that heart space, that thigh, that hip, and then slowly lower down, releasing that foot, switching sides. Reach for your left. Pull that foot first to your butt, your glute. Then press into your hand, lift away from the mat. Start to push your foot into your left hand and lengthen and open. Just be mindful of your low back. You never want to feel pain here. You want, you may be a little warmth, but no pinching or tingling. And then we're going to lower all the way back down, release the leg, rock your hips side to side. So the ultimate one we've been working towards is bow. Feel free to do one leg at a time. Stay on your belly. You're going to reach back. You're going to bend your right foot, right knee and left knee and hold on to your feet. Now the first thing when you're holding on to your feet, once you pull the belly in, first lift the head and the chest. First you want to open that heart space. Then you start to kick your feet into your hands and breathe. Try to draw your knees together closer. Continue that breathing. One more breath. And then we lower all the way back down and release those feet. Bring your hands under your forehead and let your forehead rest and rock your hips side to side. Go ahead, bring your hands next to your body, and we're going to slide back into child's pose to stretch out that low back. Counter stretch, so just use your hands to shift your hips and push your hips back. Side to side, stretch out that low back. Good. Now we're going to slowly come out of our child's pose. <clears throat> we're going to shift onto a hip and bring those legs in front and go ahead and straighten them out. Find your staff or sick pose, your dandasana. Pull those glutes out. Flex the feet, lengthen through the spine. Take a deep breath in or reach the arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Then when you get here, just rest, shake out the legs. Just feel that nice counter stretch from everything we just did. And just breathe here. One more breath. See if we can melt a little deeper to the floor, closer to the earth. Walk your hands all the way up your thighs. Sit up nice and tall. Excellent. I want you to slide forward on those hips. So you have room behind you. Hug the knees into the chest and then sit up nice and tall. Just find the length, look, turn your head to the left and then slowly turn your head to the right and then back to center, chin to chest. And then bring your head back to neutral. Excellent, we're gonna walk the feet forward. Hold on to the back of the thigh, start to shift yourself back. Find your boat. Now you can have your heels on the floor or you can float your boat and pull the shoulders down and just breathe here. Think the goal here is to relax your shoulders. So I want your core to work so your shoulders are not having to tense up. So if you need your feet on the floor, then go for it. If you feel like you're having to use your shoulders too much. Super important. Now we're gonna maybe straighten the legs and reach the arms. See if we can go a little longer. And then open the arms to cactus arms. Bend those knees. Flex those feet. Breathe. Check in with those arms. Where are they? Open them up. Excellent. Hug the knees into the chest. Place the feet on the floor and lean into the legs. We're gonna walk the fingertips behind the back. Fingers face the hips. Open up that chest. Walk your feet back closer to your heels and separate them about hip distance apart. 
Excellent, lengthen through the neck. Maybe this is plenty for you. Maybe you wanna try a reverse cable, lifting and opening, lengthening. Excellent. And then we're slowly gonna lower those hips all the way back down to the floor. <clears throat> now you're going to walk your feet out and then lower yourself completely onto your back, all the way down. You're gonna bring your arms out to cactus arms again. So the backs of your hands are on the floor, your elbows are bent. I want you to walk your feet in, pretty about hip distance apart. Now I want you to shift your hips to the left, just slightly, and then drop both knees to your right, and then turn your head to the left. Let's get a nice twist. If you have a variation that you would like, go for it. One more breath, and then you'll bring your head back to neutral. Lift the left and the right knee. Find your hips on the center, and then just do a little hip, like you're rotating through your hips, up and down, pushing your back into the mat and taking it off to loosen things up. Hands are still at cactus. Now bring your hips to the right and drop your knees to the left, and then turn your head to the right. Just enjoy that nice twist, loosening things up. Your chest is all open and lengthened and heart is open. Hopefully your posture is improved. That's the goal here too. And then we're gonna bring our head back to neutral, bring the knees up nice and slow, bring the hips back to center. Let's hug the knees into the chest and give it a rock side to side. Oh, so good. Now I want you to start to draw circles on the ceiling with your knees. You can hold the shins or behind. Massage out that low back. Now change direction. There goes my back, it's popping. And then we're gonna bring the feet all the way back to the floor, about hip distance apart. Press your feet into the floor, lift to your bridge, lengthen through your spine. Really feel that, that space. And then reach the fingers underneath your back, maybe interlace them. You can even walk your shoulders underneath and then open up. And breathe. If you'd like, you can turn your head to one side, keeping your head on the floor. and then slowly let your head roll to the other side, keeping it on the floor. Try not to let your knees fall open. And then head back to center. We're gonna walk the shoulders out, unlace the fingers, lower your hips all the way back to the floor. Go ahead, bring your hands back to cactus arms, back on the, back on the floor. Take another bridge. Lifting and lengthening, and then slowly lowering it all the way back down. Excellent, now you're gonna take your right leg and I want you to cross it nice and tight over the left. And then you're going to shift your hips slightly to the left and drop both knees to the right. So basically your right leg is on top of your left. They're crossed over. So it's a little deeper stretch. So we're trying to really, since we opened up the heart so much, I wanna just get some nice little twists through the torso, the hips just to help us move a little better during the day. Good. Pull the belly in first and then start to lift those knees back to center and uncross that right leg and then take the left knee, cross it nice and tight, shift your hips first to the right and then drop your knees to the left. Just feel, notice when you drop your legs to one side, if one side of your shoulder or chest feels tighter. That could be happening also. Maybe it's more your obliques, maybe it's the hip. Everybody's a little different. <clears throat> Listen to your body, make adjustments. You never wanna feel pain and you never wanna force the stretch in yoga or anytime. Injury prevention is our goal. Yeah. I want you to pull the belly in 
then lift those legs and uncross those legs. Excellent. We're going to walk the bottoms of the feet together and drop the knees open. Just close your eyes here for a moment. And feel everything just relaxing in the body with each breath. You're re-energized. Feel the rise and fall of your chest with each breath that comes in. Excellent. Now you're going to bring the hands to the thighs and hug the knees in to the chest. Give it a rock side to side. So we have one final stretch just to really open up that chest. And again, it depends on what you have at home. So I'm going to roll up and show you a couple options with your yoga blocks. So you can make them like a T. You can also use a blanket or a large towel. And I'm going to lay all the way back and make sure your head is completely supported. So my head and my upper back, there's nothing on my low back. My butt, hips stay on the floor. I'm going to bring my arms out to a T and then draw my legs straight. Now, if you do not have two yoga blocks, um, I will show you another option. So with a big beach towel or a couple towels, or even a yoga blanket. If you have it, you can just roll it up. The beach towel works fine as well. And you just lay it back and just have it come basically where your belly button would meet on your low back is where you would put that blanket and then just lay back on it so your head is supported and open up. So you're just getting a little extra back support and opening things up. So you got options here and just close your eyes. Let your legs relax and fall open and breathe in through the nose and out through the nose. Breathe in some gratitude and love into that heart space and just feel it pumping with the blood flow all the way through each part of your body. Gratitude and love, self-care for yourself. Now one more breath. And then you'll start to bring your attention back to your physical body. And I'm going to have you roll off of your blocks or your blanket, whatever you have, and just bring it to the side. Lay flat on the floor. Bring your arms next to the body. Palms are up. Legs falling open. Find what you would go to for your final Shavasana. Again, closing your eyes. I want you to feel your breath coming in through the nose. And as you exhale through the nose, I want you to feel your body completely relaxing and melting into the mat. Feel all the pressure washing off of your shoulders, out of your hips, out of your feet and your hands, your head. Continue feeling that. You might feel the energy pulsating through your body because you just had a wonderful workout but also feel the relaxation that comes after. And then slowly wiggle your fingers and your toes. Start to bring movement to the body. You're going to bend one knee and roll to your side and hug your knees into your chest. Roll to whatever side feels good to you. Maybe have your arm come under your head like a pillow and bring your hand to the floor, coming all the way up to a seated position. <sighs> Readjust. Find your Sukhasana, your easy seat. You can sit on a block or blanket. We're going to lengthen through the spine. Oh, move that head a little, a little side to side. I want you to check in with your posture now that we've really opened up the heart, ears over shoulders, shoulders over hips, and just lengthen. Put a smile on your face. Take a deep breath in. Reach those arms all the way up. Exhale, palms to heart space. You did a fabulous job. Thank you for joining me today. Namaste.